campaign. Nike has been hearing footsteps, though, due to competition from other brands such as Hoka. And now there may be another worry from Skechers. We've also been advancing our direct-to-consumer business, the ability to interface directly with consumers and tell our story. Van Moore says Skechers is seeing people more willing to trade up, in part because the shoes cost less than some of the sports brands. That allows individuals to choose to buy more features. From the Bloomberg Newsroom, I'm Joan Doniger on WTOP. And coming up on WTOP, we'll go beyond the neck-and-neck neck polls in the presidential campaign to get a better look at what's happening with voters. It's 512. The Congressional Black Caucus Foundation Legislative Conference Report, brought to you by Nissan. The Congressional Black Caucus Foundation's 53rd Annual Legislative Conference has included plenty of thought-provoking panel discussions on a wide range of topics, and members of Congress are a big part of the event. Alabama Congresswoman Terry Sewell represents a district rich in the history of the civil rights movement. She's also a member of the foundation's board and notes its members take seriously their mission to uplift, empower, and to advance the black community. And that's exactly what ALC 53 is all about. It is more than just a conference. It is a catalyst for change. And those in attendance say it's important to keep leaning forward into the future. I'm Mitchell Miller. You deserve a car that thrills you, a car that puts goosebumps on your goosebumps. At Nissan, we've got everything from turbocharged SUVs to 100% electric vehicles that'll make your heart beat faster. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Mom, meet Sarah. From first-time Nana moments. Yeah, welcome to Flight 101. To annual girls' trip moments. Your can't-miss moments are worth protecting against RSV. If you're 75 or older or 60-plus with a chronic condition like asthma, COPD, heart disease, or severe diabetes, you're at higher risk of landing in the hospital from RSV. And there are no prescription RSV treatments. Check eligibility and schedule your RSV vaccine at VaxAssist.com. So where should we go next? Sponsored by Pfizer. Whether you own a local business or a global one, you're always looking for ways to position your operation to create opportunities and move on them faster. With Bank of America, you get access to experts, award-winning insights, and business solutions so powerful, you'll make every move matter, locally and globally. Visit bankofamerica.com slash banking for business to learn more. What would you like the power to do? Copyright 2024, Bank of America N.A. Still ahead, what's happening at Mount Vernon this fall? More from WTOP in 30 seconds. There once was a tub made of tile, moldy, cracked, and missing grout all the while. But in no time at all, a new shower was installed. Now thanks to long baths, we can smile. It's Katie from Long Baths. For almost 80 years, my family's been helping families just like yours turn their houses into homes. Transform your outdated bathroom with a new bath or shower today and save 50% off materials at longbaths.com. That's longbaths.com. The Chesapeake crab is the best crab. Crabs and the DMV just go together. But where do they really come from, and where are they going? Nothing's guaranteed when I leave the dock. I'm WTLP reporter John Dome, and join me next week for my series, Claws and Effect, about the murky future of the local crabbing industry, right here on WTOP and WTOP.com. It's quarter past five now. Good afternoon. I'm Michael Toscano, and glad to be with you this afternoon. Election 2024 on WTOP. Over 70 million of us watched Tuesday's debate between Vice President Harris and former President Trump. Of course, more listened on the radio. Harris says she wants another debate. Trump has said no, and then maybe. Meanwhile, early voting begins next week in a handful of states, including Virginia. We're joined by historian and author Paul Brandis, who has lectured at seven presidential libraries. He's going to shed some light now on opinion polls, he says... He doesn't think you're getting enough attention. It's hardly surprising that uh, most of the polls that uh, the pundits tend to refer to, these are neck and neck, of course. Uh, most of the polls are weighted evenly between both sides, so it's no surprise. But if you look beyond those neck and neck polls, at least one firm gallop asks both sides something different. They ask them how enthusiastic they are about this race. Here, it's a very different story. The data shows a 14-point gap in favor of Democrats. What's interesting about that beyond the 14-point margin is that at this point in both 2020 
and 2016, Republicans had the enthusiasm advantage, but now it's Democrats by a pretty wide margin. It looks, in fact, that this is the biggest enthusiasm gap since 2008 when we saw the election of Barack Obama. So this would appear to suggest that at this point, at least, Democrats are going to have a stronger turnout than Republicans at this point. Now, you alluded to the enthusiasm factor, and there's also some data concerning the endorsement of the vice president by pop superstar Taylor Swift. Tell us about that. Well, it's no surprise, I mean, Swift endorsed Biden four years ago. Her backing of Harris now should not shock anyone, but Swift is an even bigger star now, of course. And in practical terms, here's what that means in the days since that Instagram post which she put up, uh, I think, just right after the debate the other night. There's been a huge surge in voter registration nationwide, nine, ten thousand 10,000 people an hour, according to the firm that tracks this one executive at that firm, saying, and I'm quoting, it's unlike anything we've ever seen. So nine or 10,000 an hour, I mean, that's going to trail off at some point. But it's interesting when you consider that in 2020, states like Georgia decided by what? 12,000 votes, Wisconsin by 20,000. Historian and author Paul Brandis, who has lectured at seven presidential libraries. A quick look now at the top stories we are following this afternoon at WTOP. House Republican leaders are working through the weekend to pull together enough votes to pass a spending package and avoid a government shutdown at the end of the month. Some of the favorite channels are returning to DirecTV after the company works out a deal with the Walt Disney Company. Israeli airstrikes kill at least 14 people in central and southern Gaza. Coming up in the minutes ahead. Coming up right now, though, traffic and weather on the 8s. Brian Albin is in the WTOP Traffic Center. And we remain very slow on 95 southbound in Virginia just before the Fairfax County Parkway. That's where the crash was blocking off the right side. It does appear we now have three left lanes open, uh, but the buildup from those delays goes all the way back to the mixing bowl. Elsewhere in Virginia, uh, just beyond the Beltway, it is Braddock Road westbound at Burke Lake Road, where we're getting new reports of a crash. Crash. Unclear which side of the roadway might be affected. And through Alexandria, the local lanes of the outer loop especially are slow as you approach the Woodrow Wilson Bridge. Those delays uh, going back quite a way. Uh, before, you won't come onto them, though, until you get after uh, South Van Doren Street. Inside of the Beltway, DC 295 is slowest once you cross the Maryland line all the way down to about Benning Road. Uh, you're still on the brakes once you get past East Capitol Street, but eventually it clears up on your way towards Pennsylvania Avenue. Northbound, it's going to be slow before and after Pennsylvania Avenue and then between East Capitol Street and Benning Road where the work zone takes away the right side. A girl in Kenya dreams of becoming a doctor. An elder in Guatemala dreams of being a part of a community. Reach out and change their world and it will change your own. Unbound.org. I'm Brian Albin, W2P Traffic. And over to 7 News First Alert meteorologist Jordan Evans. Remaining dry and comfortable for the rest of your Saturday, so dinner plans on the patio sounds fantastic with overnight lows dropping to the low 60s by early tomorrow morning. We stay clear overnight with afternoon highs tomorrow reaching the lower 80s, which is right around our average high of about 81 degrees. And as we head towards tomorrow night into Monday, another partly cloudy night with temperatures dropping into the low 60s. Monday afternoon looks dry with highs around 80 degrees with increasing clouds ahead of our next weather maker, which brings showers to the area by Tuesday. I'm 7 News Meteorologist Mark Pena in the First Alert Weather Center. And we have a trifecta at the airports, 84 degrees at Reagan National, at BWI Marshall, and also out at Dulles. Brought to you by Lem the Plumber Heating and Air. Trusted same-day service, seven days a week. Coming up on WTOP, where might it be getting more expensive around here to use a taxi? More news coming up. Did you know that being a good corporate citizen is good for business? At Kaiser Permanente, we know that fostering a welcoming and supportive workplace culture, affirming strong community partnerships, and establishing good corporate citizenship helps companies grow and thrive. As a leader, you have grow and thrive. As a leader, you have an opportunity to help your employees, community, and business succeed by promoting equality in the workplace, elevating and supporting your workforce, and seeking out partners in the community to promote causes people can be passionate about. Learn more at kp.org slash leadball. Boldly slash WTOP. 
If you have a house, there are things you need and things you want. The Homeowners Expo is now at Eagle Bank Arena at George Mason University, September 21st to 22nd. And this is the place to get started, inspired, and find everything for your home. Meet multiple home remodeling pros and home service specialists from the foundation to the roof. Great seminars and meet Matt Blashaw, HGTV, and host of Yard Crashers. Admission is cheap. Purchase online in advance at thehomeownersexpo.com. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a serious heart condition. Some symptoms include being short of breath, feeling tired, or having dizziness or chest pain. My HCM impacted how I felt and what I could do. So I asked my cardiologist about treatment advances that gave me new options. That conversation was big for me. That's why I'm working with Bristol-Myers Squibb to raise awareness about HCM and to help others like me. Talk to your cardiologist today and visit hcmrealtalk.com to learn more. Sponsored by Bristol-Myers Squibb. Washington's top news, WTOP. Facts matter. Good afternoon. It is 523. The Fairfax County Board of Supervisors this week okayed the first taxi fare increase in a decade. The initial cost of a ride is going to go up by 50 cents to $4 for one-sixth of a mile or less. It's going to cost more for every sixth of a mile after that, so will the cost of having a taxi wait for you. Gas costs roughly the same as when the fares were raised last, but costs for vehicle maintenance are said to have gone up. We are barely into pumpkin spice season, but I guess it's never too early to get your holiday cards ready. And the U.S. Postal Service released its new holiday-themed forever stamps today. WTOP's Kate Ryan reports. Antonio Alcala is the art director for the U.S. Postal Service's stamp development program. He worked with artist Michelle Munoz to come up with the Holiday Joy Forever stamps released for the upcoming holiday season. So what do the stamps look like? Two sort of Christmas ornament, tree ornament baubles, uh, a poinsettia, and then a plant arrangement that sort of evokes the idea of a snowflake. Alcala, who has a studio in Northern Virginia, doesn't just design stamps. Like the rest of us, he heads to the post office to pick out stamps for his cards and letters. What's it like when he sees his stamps in circulation? But these are available everywhere in the country from, you know, Maine to Florida to Alaska and California. It's a it's just an amazing feeling. Kate Ryan, WTOP News. Boy, on a beautiful weekend like this, it makes you think, let's go out and look for things to do. Here's a history filled weekend events coming up at Mount Vernon in Virginia. The fall fun fully kicks off at Mount Vernon this weekend with the Colonial Market and Fair. We have 18th century artisans who handcraft their wares, things from pottery to glassworks. We have an apothecary and handmade soaps and just really the gamut. It's an excellent opportunity to do maybe some holiday shopping. Jolie Almasy, Vice President for Media and Communications at George Washington's Mount Vernon, said they've got a full fall schedule for all ages. We have textiles as a focus in September 21st and 22nd. Second, we are talking about 18th century home goods and the things that colonial Americans would have utilized. See the full schedule of what's going on at the home of George Washington at WTOP.com. Valerie Bonk, WTOP News. Sports at 25 and 55 brought to you by Amentum. Solving what's next. Engineering a safer, smarter, cleaner world. Saver, smarter, and cleaner. Here's Frank Hanrahan. Nationals with a uh, 2-1 lead now over the Marlins at uh, Nats Park. Joey Gallo, home run for the Nationals, who started the day off 66-81. and So, final uh, slog of the season. Now, the team gave out 1924 championship bobbleheads today. It's been 100 years since the Senators won the World Series in 1924. Tomorrow, first 20,000 get a championship pennant out at Nats Park. College football this afternoon. Howard leads Morehouse 21-7. That's at halftime. Time. Border battle tonight. Maryland is at Virginia. That's at 8 o'clock. Georgetown loses to Sacred Heart 40 14. Major League Soccer at Audi Field. DC United taking on New York City FC. We've got the Solheim Cup women's golf from Gainesville, Virginia. Team USA leading Team Europe 10 4. Now, the commissioner of the LPGA apologizing today and taking responsibility for the tour's failure to get fans to the uh, Solheim Cup in time to see the opening tee shots yesterday, but did not offer a full explanation of the debacle. Fans reported taking hours to get from parking lots to the course because of a lack of shuttle buses. I'm Frank Hanrahan, WTOP Sports. Thanks, Frank. And coming up after traffic and weather, the latest on a possible federal government shutdown. Yes, it's that time of the year again. 527.
Folks, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for more NFL and FanDuel, America's number one sports book, is continuing its special offer to keep us watching more. Now through September 22nd, all FanDuel customers can bet $5 and get a three-week free trial of NFL Sunday Ticket from YouTube and YouTube TV. Then, with a YouTube TV base plan, you'll be able to watch every regular season Sunday afternoon out-of-market game. And yes, Commanders fans living in Ravens country... You'll need that more often than not. All you need is a Google account and a current form of payment, and you can cancel at any time. Just visit FanDuel.com slash Woody to download America's number one sports book. That's FanDuel.com slash W-O-O-D-Y. It's just a nickname for my last name. Must be over 21 and present in Virginia. Full price of NFL Sunday ticket will be automatically charged seasonally after free trial. No refunds, terms, restrictions, and embargoes apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. WTOP and Silver Diner now bring you Free Lunch Friday to thank you for listening to WTOP, whether you're at home, at work, or on the go. Three winners every Friday. Enter to win free lunch courtesy of Silver Diner and plan your next lunch in with up to five additional guests. There's something for everyone at Silver Diner with over a 100 menu items, including vegan and gluten-free options and your diner favorites. So don't miss out. Enter to win today at WTOP.com. Search free lunch. Experience a dynamic blend of progressive bluegrass, jamgrass, and Americana at Annapolis Baygrass Music Festival, September 21st and 22nd. Dine on gourmet food while enjoying a variety of local brews and spirits, including non-alcoholic options, right on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay. With interactive workshops, yard games, kid zone, and beach yoga, there's something for everyone. Annapolis Baygrass Music Festival, September 21st and 22nd. Visit BaygrassMusicFestival.com. That's BaygrassMusicFestival.com. Sponsored by Visit Annapolis and Maryland Tourism. Traffic and weather on the 8th. Let's go to the WTOP Traffic Center. Here's Brian Albin. Starting off in Maryland, 270 southbound is still slow in Germantown. That's where the crash activity has been blocking the left lane between Father Hurley Boulevard and Germantown Road. Those delays now uh, probably in excess of a mile. They're starting to globe, uh, go back as far as about the Clarksburg Outlet Store. So uh, starting to be a heavy delay on 270 southbound. Elsewhere, in Maryland, BW Parkway southbound. Slowest of it is between 32 and 198. Once you get past that, should be pretty good on your way down to the Beltway. Inside of the Beltway in Maryland, BW Parkway northbound appears we may have some new crash activity uh, right around the area of Riverdale Road. Unclear which lanes may be affected, but we're starting to see it get backed up all the way to Annapolis Road. Elsewhere inside the Beltway, DC 295 southbound going to be slow all the way from Eastern Ave to East Capitol Street. DC 295 northbound, the heaviest of the delays are before and after Pennsylvania Avenue. And then down into Virginia, uh, still slow on 95 southbound before you get to the Fairfax County Parkway. It does appear that they've moved all the crash activity into the shoulder, but the volume delays have built up all the way back towards the mixing bowl. And then a caller letting us know of new crash activity on Route 7 westbound out past Wolf Trap. Uh, it's right before you get to Colvin Run Road, and it's going to be two lanes taken away for a six-car crash. A girl in Kenya dreams of becoming a doctor. An elder in Guatemala dreams of being part of a community. Reach out and change their world, and it will change your own. Unbound.org. I'm Brian Albin, WTOP Traffic. 7 News First Alert Meteorologist Jordan Evans has the forecast. Besides a few clouds staying dry and comfortable in the overnight hours of your Saturday with overnight lows dropping into the lower 60s inside the Capitol Beltway with some upper 50s possible outside of it. Another day of sunshine in the forecast for your Sunday with a northeast wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour and highs reaching the lower 80s. I'm 7 News Meteorologist Mark Pena and the First Alert Weather Center. CBS News Brief. I'll it's 83 degrees at Fort Belvoir, 83 degrees at Foggy Bottom, and 80 in Silver Spring. You're listening to WTOP, Washington's news, traffic, and weather station. The WTOP producer's desk is wired by IBEW Local 26, where electrical contractors come to grow. Good afternoon, I'm Michael Toscano. Acacia James is our producer. Now to the top stories we are following for you this weekend. House Speaker Mike Johnson says... Republicans are trying to round up the votes this weekend so that they'll be able to pass a short-term spending bill and avoid a government shutdown. That deadline, which is when the current budget expires, is just over two weeks away. 
WTOP's Mitchell Miller has Today on the Hill. Speaker Johnson is still holding out hope for a vote on his continuing resolution, which includes a provision to prohibit non-citizens from voting in federal elections. Former President Trump says lawmakers should be willing to shut down the government if the measure known as the SAVE Act can't get passed. House Majority Whip Tom Emmer is critical of Democrats for opposing it. Why are they calling a common sense bill like the SAVE Act a, quote, poison pill? But Emmer is trying to get fellow Republicans to support the legislation. While they support the election, integrity measure, some GOP lawmakers don't like that the bill would extend short-term spending into next March. Meanwhile, the shutdown deadline is getting closer, coming up on October 1st. On Capitol Hill, Mitchell Miller, WTOP News. The election 2024 on WTOP, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are continuing their battleground state tours after their first presidential debate. Harris speaks to an audience actually here in D.C. tonight, and her running mate, Governor Tim Walz, is campaigning in Michigan. Donald Trump is in Nevada, and J.D. Vance is in North Carolina. He's doubled down on a debunked and dehumanizing claim that Haitian immigrants are eating pets in Springfield, an Ohio city now in the national spotlight after the falsehoods went viral. Bomb threats there force public schools and city buildings to close. I can say this, uh, we will do large deportations from Springfield, Ohio. People don't like to talk about it because even the town doesn't like to talk about it. In Battleground, Pennsylvania, where the race remains virtually tied, Vice President Harris ventured into parts of the state that trend red. I feel very strongly that we got to earn every vote. Making an appeal to moderates. We need a president of the United States who works for all the American people. That just stops with all the trying to divide us. That's CBS's Natalie Brand reporting. Pope Francis is strongly criticizing both U.S. presidential candidates over what he calls anti-life policies on abortion and immigration. Here are his comments through an interpreter. They are both against life. The one who throws away the migrants, as well as the one who kills children. Both are against life. Who is the lesser of two evils? That lady or that gentleman? I don't know. But Francis is advising American Catholics to choose the lesser evil, as he puts it, in the upcoming elections. 33,000 Boeing machinists have walked off the jobs and onto the picket lines in the Pacific Northwest after overwhelmingly rejecting a proposed contract. The quiet on the runway. We're not uh, going to buckle this time. Drowned out by the sound of the picket line. The absolute unity in our voting just, it invigorates me. Boeing workers on the street demanding better wages to be able to keep up with the cost of living in Washington. That's KIRO TV's Brandon Thompson. 535 now at WTOP. After a 13-day blackout, the Walt Disney Company and DirecTV have settled their contract dispute the agreement early today means ESPN, ABC TV stations, and other Disney-owned channels will now be seen again by more than 10 million subscribers. DirecTV stopped airing Disney-owned channels on September 1st, and that prevented sports fans from being able to watch ESPN's Monday Night Football and U.S. Open Tennis on ABC. This deal includes new options, including packages that offered the Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus streaming services. Now to our continuing coverage of the crisis in the Middle East. Israeli airstrikes killed at least 14 people in central and southern Gaza overnight. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer traveled with the Israeli military to Rafah to see the extensive network of Hamas-built tunnels that they have uncovered. Israeli soldiers have just declared victory here after some of the fiercest fighting of the war. This is Tel al-Sultan, part of Rafah, and where, according to the IDF, Hamas made its last stand. When Israeli troops showed up in May, they found that every second house was booby-trapped with explosives. That accounts for the destruction above ground. Underground, Rafah is a maze of tunnels. The Israelis say they've blown up eight miles of them so far. Meanwhile, mourners in Turkey gathered for the funeral of an American tourist Turkish activist who was shot and killed while taking part in protests in the West Bank.
Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is reiterating his country's need for more air defense and long-range capabilities. He's asking the U.S. and Britain to loosen restrictions on using weapons they've supplied from being used inside Russia. This is a continued pattern for Ukraine. It asks the West for a certain level of support. The West says no over fears of a Russian escalation. Ukraine's uh, position worsens in the war, and then the West finally says yes. That's the BBC's James Waterhouse. The White House has not yet announced any decision on that issue. Coming up after traffic and weather in Money News, ultra-early holiday shopping may be here to stay. It's 537. The following is a paid message. This is Bishop Michael Burbage of the Catholic Diocese of Arlington. It is hard to believe that summer ends in less than two weeks. Students are back in school, enjoying their surroundings, making new friends, and taking that next step in a journey that, pray God, will lead to great accomplishments. We will learn about the classes, the faculty, the food, and the fun that the start of a new academic year brings to our young people. But will we ask the most important question? How are our loved ones doing spiritually? Parents, you will continue to play a critical role. Whether your sons or daughters attend a school across town or a college across the country, impart upon your children the willingness to stay strong, courageous, and steadfast when their faith may not be embraced or even rejected by others. Be their guide and support. Buying and selling stress-free. This is Dave Johnson. Yes, stress-free is the way as I discovered it with Jennifer Young and her team at Jennifer Young Homes. Listen, Jennifer and her team recently helped a couple both buy and sell. That couple loved their community in the Falls Church McLean area. As luck would have it, there was a new build available close to their current location. Jennifer and her team coordinated the listing for the sale to coincide with the closing on the new property. Talk about stress-free. Connect with Jennifer at jenniferyounghomes.com or call 877-611-SELL. Keller Williams Realty, 703-815-5. At Cabinet Discounters, we truly love what we do. Transforming kitchens, bathrooms, basements, any room. Creating new ways to help you achieve your vision. And all within your budget. Plus, we've got big news. Announcing the grand opening of our 8th showroom in Frankfort, Delaware. We'll now be serving all the beaches. Plus, you'll get the same great quality and great price. To learn more about our new showroom in Frankfort, Delaware, go to CabinetDiscounters.com. Cabinet Discounters. Great quality. Traffic and weather on the 8th. Brian Albin is in the WTOP Traffic Center. Still heavy delays in Maryland on 270 southbound uh, from about Clarksburg through Germantown. The crash was on the left lane uh, in the area of the Germantown Road exit. And so those delays now go back for a couple of miles. Elsewhere in Maryland, new crash activity. BW Parkway northbound headed out of the district just as you get to Riverdale Road is where the crash happened. But those delays now going all the way back uh, to Landover Road at this time. And then down into Virginia, it appears the crash activity has been cleared uh, from 95 southbound near the Fairfax County Parkway, but it is still slow all the way back to the mixing bowl at this time. You don't need a job site. You need a hiring platform. Indeed lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from one place. Start at Indeed.com slash credit. I'm Brian Albin, WTOP Traffic. And now to the P.J. Fitzpatrick Home Improvement Weather Desk. Enjoy no interest financing for 12 months. Here's 7 News First Alert Meteorologist Jordan Evans. Besides a few clouds remaining dry and comfortable for the rest of your Saturday with overnight lows dropping to the low 60s inside the Capitol Beltway with some upper 50s possible in some of our far northern and western suburbs. Heading into tomorrow afternoon, another fantastic day with lots of sunshine, just a few clouds, temperatures that rise to the low 80s, which is right around our average high of about 81 degrees. Tomorrow night looks partly cloudy with temperatures dropping back to around 60. And for your Monday, another dry and comfortable afternoon with highs right around 80. I'm 7 News Meteorologist Mark Penn and the First Alert Weather Center. 82 degrees in College Park and in Fairfax, it's 84 at the National Mall. Money News at 10 and 40 past the hour on WTOP. Here's Jeff Bellinger. This is a Bloomberg Money Minute. 
Halloween is still a month and a half off, but a lot of consumers are looking beyond that. Believe it or not, one in eight holiday shoppers have already started making holiday purchases. Bankrate senior industry analyst Ted Rossman says about half of all shoppers expect to start their shopping by Halloween. He says ultra-early shopping may be here to stay. It started during the pandemic with the supply chain mess. It's lasted, though. I feel like now it's more about battling back against high prices and looking for ways to spread out your cash flow. As for spending intentions, only about a quarter of all shoppers say they expect to spend more this year than they did last year, but consumers often end up spending more than they plan. Rossman says retailers have embraced early shopping. Amazon has prime big deal days in October. Walmart and Target have early holiday kickoffs of their own. Retailers put their best foot forward early. It's like Black Friday comes in October now. From the Bloomberg Newsroom, I'm Jeff Bellinger on WTOP. Well, they've spent months lobbying Virginia leaders to make unified P.E. a course that counts toward graduation requirements. WTOP Scott Gelman reports Prince William County students are anticipating it'll help promote inclusivity across the state. Their efforts were successful, and they're expecting many younger high schoolers to take the class as a result. Here at Colgan High School, juniors and seniors are primarily the ones taking unified PE. There's already a growing awareness and excitement, so this is just going to amplify that. That's assistant principal David Parrish. The class pairs students with disabilities with general education students. It used to just be an elective, which student Rania Latif suspects discouraged those taking advanced classes from signing up. We wanted to have it be an option for ninth and 10th graders who have to take that PE and health requirements. They're still figuring out the logistics of opening up the class to more kids, but the benefits go beyond filling a slot on the schedule. I know many people might think that they aren't ready for the real world, but I think the question is like, is the world ready for them? In Manassas, Scott Gelman, WTOP News. 543 now at WTOP. Montgomery County ushers in a new program. They did it last night, requiring some late-night businesses to put new security plans in place. The effort is aimed at keeping customers and employees safe. Petros Kantos manages the Big Greek Cafe in downtown Silver Spring, and he tells 7 News that police used to have some presence in that area. There's no security. I mean, sometimes what they do, they have police cars. Stand right over there, right on Georgia Avenue. Uh, they used to do that for about a week or two and then disappear. He says he doesn't like the cost requirements to the businesses, but is ready to see a reduction in crime. Businesses need to upgrade lighting, security cameras, and hire security officers. The Biden administration is trying to eliminate protections for gray wolves. The Biden administration has asked an appeals court to revive a Trump-era rule that lifted remaining Endangered Species Act protections for gray wolves in the U.S. If successful, the move would allow hunting in the Great Lakes region. It's opposed by the Sierra Club, Center for Biological Diversity, Humane Society of the United States, and other groups. Jennifer Kuyper, CBS News, Chicago. Coming up on WTOP, a local high school plays its first game after losing a beloved coach. 545. 